At the outset, I wish to make clear once again that the Australian Government takes our shared commitment with Indonesia to mutually respect the sovereignty of each nation very, very seriously. As a consequence, it is clear policy of this Government not to violate the territorial sovereignty of Indonesia in relation to any operations conducted under Operation Sovereign Borders, and this remains our firm policy and commitment. Furthermore, we take any operational failure to comply with this policy extremely seriously as a government. It was brought to my attention at just after 4pm on Wednesday that Border Protection Command assets had in the conduct of maritime operations associated with Operation Sovereign Borders inadvertently entered Indonesian territorial waters on several occasions in breach of Australian government policy. I should stress that this occurred unintentionally and without knowledge or sanction by the Australian government. After verification of this information, the government took the initiative to make contact with the government of Indonesia to advise them of these events at the earliest opportunity. Late yesterday afternoon, Australia's Chief of Navy, Admiral Griggs, had a phone conversation with his counterpart in Indonesia to advise him of these events and to provide an explanation. Following this conversation, Foreign Minister Bishop sought to speak to her Indonesian counterpart, Foreign Minister Natalie Gawa, last night to advise him of this conversation and to offer an unqualified apology on behalf of the Australian Government for inadvertently entering Indonesia's territorial waters in breach of Australian Government policy and to provide an assurance that such a breaches of Indonesian, Indonesian territorial waters would not reoccur. A similar apology and assurance was also provided by Admiral Griggs during his conversation yesterday afternoon with the Indonesian Chief of Navy. Foreign Minister Natalie Gawa was travelling last night en route to another country in the region and as yet the foreign ministers have been unable to speak. A message of apology, however, has been provided personally to Minister Natalie Gawa from Minister Bishop and a formal apology will be provided on behalf of the Australian Government by our post in Jakarta today. I also note that the Government of Indonesia were advised of this morning's press conference in advance. I will ask Lieutenant General Campbell to report on these issues. Before I do, I wish to express the full confidence of the Government in the men and women who serve in difficult circumstances with courage, distinction and professionalism within Border Protection Command. The maritime border security operations being conducted by Australia are being undertaken to protect Australia's territorial sovereignty from the incursions of criminal people smuggling ventures originating outside of Australia. Combined with other actions, these operations are having a significant impact on the activities of people smugglers with arrivals of potential illegal immigrants into Australia and Indonesia both in decline. We deeply regret these events and have offered an apology. However, the Australian Government remains committed, continuing the implementing, implementing the policies to stop the votes. We will ensure that the issues that led to these inadvertent breaches of Indonesian territorial sovereignty are rectified and do not reoccur. We will seek to work with our partners in the region and elsewhere, wherever possible, to achieve this outcome. What the people smugglers and anyone they are trying to get on a boat need to understand is that this Australian Government will take the actions necessary to protect Australian sovereignty to stop the boats. I note that while there will be interest in the precise nature of these or any other reported maritime operations, that the normal policy will continue to apply in relation to public disclosure or confirmation of any such matters and for the reasons we have consistently stated and followed throughout this operation. I also note that on Tuesday this week I wrote to the Opposition Spokesperson for Immigration and Border Protection, Mr Miles, offering him and the Leader of the Opposition a confidential briefing on Operation Sovereign Borders, including our maritime operations. This follows an earlier briefing from Mr, uh, received by Mr Miles last year from General Campbell. 
Mr Mull's office confirmed to my office this week that he would be available to receive the briefing from General Campbell in the second week of February and that Mr Shorten would not be attending. A transcript of this media conference will be issued as soon as available and will stand as the government's response on the matters we have reported today. I will now ask General Campbell to make his statement and after that we will both remain to take questions on the areas that relate to our respective responsibilities. Thanks, Minister. Good morning. Uh, as I have previously stated, uh, I am committed to ensuring the Australian public is informed of significant events relating to Operation Sovereign Borders as and when they occur. On Wednesday afternoon, it came to my attention that Australian vessels operating under the control of Border Protection Command unintentionally sailed through Indonesian waters on several occasions. This is clearly a very serious matter. I was advised of these events after a routine vessel report was examined by a Border Protection Command official. The Minister for Immigration and Border Protection was notified immediately. I'd like to make it very clear that, as I understand it, the personnel on these vessels believe they were at all times operating outside Indonesian waters. And at no time were Australian vessels authorised to enter Indonesian waters. Over the course of Wednesday evening and yesterday morning, the Joint Agency Task Force and Border Protection Command officials sought to confirm uh, this report. Yesterday afternoon, the Chief of Navy, Admiral Griggs, also speaking on behalf of the CEO of the Australian Customs and Border Protection Service, contacted his Indonesian counterpart, Admiral Marsidio, Chief of Indonesian Naval Staff, to inform him and acknowledge our error. I have since written to the CEO of the Australian Customs and Border Protection Service and the Chief of the Defence Force, who have co-responsibility for Border Protection Command, requesting that they jointly review the circumstances leading to the passage of Australian vessels through Indonesian waters. Again, I would like to reiterate that, as I understand it, our people on these vessels believe they were at all times outside Indonesian waters. As I said during Wednesday morning's press conference, which was held well before I was aware of these events, we have never intended for our assets to operate or to enter the sovereign territory of another nation. I, and I'm sure all those involved in the conduct of Operation Sovereign Borders, regret any affront to Indonesia these events may have caused. As commander of the Joint Agency Task Force, I am responsible for the conduct of Operation Sovereign Borders in all its aspects. I'm determined that such errors, innocent as I believe they were, will not occur again. I note reports in the media this morning that includes claims from asylum seekers interviewed in Indonesia. I remain confident that our personnel have conducted themselves to the highest professional standards. Thank you.